Ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to explain to you how to do a one sample Wilcoxon test and also a one sample sign test, both of them in this video. Now you would use that if you want to compare a, a variable to a hypothetical value and your var variable is for instance uh, measured on an ordinal scale or does not follow a, a normal distribution. Um, which I have here. I have here social status of these social media users and uh, the, it is measured on an ordinal scale. It goes from very low to low to normal to high and uh, then to very high. It's an ordinal scale. Now at this point, some of my students say, hey, but this is not fair. You're dividing people in these groups. No, no, no. This is not... It's not that I think that they have a low social status or whatever. This is an actual uh, variable that is collected by these um, companies like Google, etc. It's just a fact. And how they uh, come up to the decision of what makes somebody have a low social status or a high one, that is their secret. I don't know for sure how they arrive at it, but it's a, this is an actual thing. It's not my personal view or anything. Um but what we want to do is we want to compare this variable, uh, this ordinal variable, we want to compare this to one value. Suppose that, for instance, we know that in the UK as a whole, because this data is from the UK, suppose that we know that in the UK as a whole, the let's say the, the median social status, the central tendency social status is normal. Okay, so on, on average, people have a social status that is normal. And now we want to find out, hey, is there a difference between um, the social status in our group of users and that of the UK as a whole? So we want to compare this with the, the UK as a whole. For that, we have to use either the one sample uh, Wilcoxon test or the one sample uh, sign test. Now, which one, when? Use the one, one sample Wilcoxon uh, test if this data is, it has a, follows a symmetrical or, or relatively symmetrical distribution. It doesn't have to be perfect. But if it really, really does not follow a symmetrical distribution, then use the one sample sign test. You find them over here, stats, and then non-parametric, here you have them, the one sample sign test and the one sample Wilcoxon test. Both of them actually follow the, the same principle, but let me start out with the one sample sign, te sign test. Okay, so I click on that. And uh, the issue is that here I have my data in words and uh, it's easier to um, work with numbers. So if I convert these into numbers, then it's easier to... Uh, actually perform this test. Let's do that because that, that has to be the first step that we actually do. And how do we convert this into numbers? We go to data and then we go to recode and then we go to recode to numeric. It says recode values in the following columns. Which column? Well, social status. And the method has to be recode individual value. So I'm, I want to recode, for instance, very low social status into a, a one and um, um, very high into a five and then uh, the rest in between. OK, so this is basically what I want to do. I want to give the very low social status the score of one. I want to give very high the score of five. High will get the score of four. Uh, normal will be 3 and 2 will be low. So you see, so I go from 1 to 5. 1 being very low and 5 being very high. And uh, then I click on OK. So you see now at this point my data has been recoded. So very low has been transformed into a 1 and very high has been transformed into a 5. Now, as I mentioned already to you, um, if I want to choose which test to do, I first have to look, hey, is my data symmetrical, the distribution? The best way to check whether your data follows a symmetrical distribution is just visually. Go to graph and then opt for a histogram. The simple one will do. 
as your Y variable, choose the recoded social status variable. This is the one that we just recoded into numbers and then click on OK. Well, this is basically how this data is distributed. Symmetrical means that if I would draw a line here in the middle of this graph, so where the tree is, that this side and this side from, of the line would look similar. And that's not the case. Uh, this side does not look at all like this side. Okay, So this is definitely not symmetrical, absolutely not. Students at this point, they ask me, sir, what is the exact threshold for you know, when it is not symmetrical and when it is symmetrical enough. What I say is that in practice, we just do it visually. Okay, so this is definitely a no-no. This is not symmetrical, no way. Okay, um, and sometimes it's very, very symmetrical and there are border cases. Now, what I always advise is if you have a border case, if, if, if it looks kind of symmetrical, but also kind of not, know that this kind of symmetrical and kind of not, you, we, you can also use these words for the results of your test because the results of your test, the Wilcoxon test, will be kind of useful. Okay, do you, do you want that? Do you want kind of useful data? If that is good enough for you, then use kind of symmetrical distribution. This is what I always give as an advice to my students. So I also give that as an advice to you. So use the Wilcoxon test, one, one sample Wilcoxon test. If this is symmetrical, if this is absolutely not symmetrical, then you use the one uh, sample sign test. And in cases where you are in doubt, then use the one sample sign test, okay? That one does not have any assumptions with regard to the distribution of your data, so you will be safe at that um, in those cases. But as we can see here, we have to use the one sample sign test. So we go to stat and then we go to non parametrics and uh, one sample sign. Now, what we have to do is we want to see whether our variable social status, whether there is a significant difference between the social status of our users and that of the UK as a whole, the United Kingdom as a whole. We assume that in the United Kingdom, the, um, the average social status or the median social status, to, to be more accurate, is normal. Now, remember that we recoded the data. So we said that um, very low social status is a 1, very high social status is a 5, and remember what was normal? Normal was a 3. So we want to compare whether this variable is significantly different than 3, okay? So 3 is the numerical value of normal. Now, if we just want to see whether there's a significant difference, difference between our users and UK as a whole, then choose just this, not equal. But if you want to do a one-sided test, so you just want to see if we are higher or lower than uh, these um, uh, the, 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 the average UK person, then we use less than or greater than. So these will be one-sided tests. But here in this case, I just want to know if we are significantly different from three from the rest of the UK, either more or less. So it's a two-sided test that we are about to embark on. Click on OK. This is basically the data that we get. So you see, um, what, is, what is our null hypothesis and what is our alternative hypothesis? Well, the, the null hypothesis is that um, we are not different from the rest of the UK, which has as a median score three. Okay, The alternative hypothesis is that we are different from the rest of the UK, which has as a, um, uh, a median three or normal, because 3 stands for normal. Now look at our p-value here. At an alpha level of 0 0.05, but even at an alpha level of 0 0.01, in both cases, we are below that alpha level. So in both cases, we will reject the null hypothesis. 
That means that we put our money basically on the alternative hypothesis. And we're going to, for the time being, assume that our sample is significantly different in terms of social status than the rest of the UK. Because the rest of the UK has, had a, has a median score, 3, and our median score is different from them. If you're curious, by the way, this is the median that came out of our sample. That's it. This is basically the one, uh, one sample sign test. Now, we were not allowed to do the uh, Wilcoxon one sample with Wilcoxon test, but I'm going to show you anyway. Um, at least you, you have seen it once. So if we were allowed to do it in a parallel universe, eh, in a parallel universe in which Elvis is still alive and the Beatles are still touring, etc. Um, we were allowed to do it, and then we went to non-parametrics, and we went to uh, one sample Wilcoxon. And uh, as you can see, eh, it's the same principle. So it's, it's not a, a, a big difference. So recoded social status, test median, uh, three, okay. So th this would be the, the result that would come out of uh, the Wilcoxon uh, test. As you can see, in terms of null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis, very similar. Uh, in terms of p-value, very similar. Slightly different median. Look, this is a different test, huh? so don't expect the same results always to roll out from both tests. That is not what you should expect. These are two different tests. But in this case, they do both give the same conclusion, namely that... Our people, the people in our data uh, uh, sheet, are different from the rest of the UK when it comes to social status. That's it, people. Thank you very much for your valuable time. This was a long session. Thank you very much. Have a great day.